step into the captivating world of a different world. This 1987 TV series is more than just a stroll down memory lane. It's a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and downright sad moments that'll keep you hooked. Ever wondered about the lesser known facts or anecdotes that make it even more fascinating? Maybe you have a favorite character from the multitude of roles. Share your thoughts with us. As you delve into the series, get ready for a ride filled with laughter, surprises, and touching moments. The journey is about to unfold, and we're here for it. Stick around for more, as there's a trove of facts coming your way. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this show? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to read them. Get ready for an adventure through the highs and lows. Many surprises await, so keep watching. Experience the magic of a different world as it unfolds before your eyes. Seasons 2-6 of A Different World remain unavailable on DVD, leaving fans eager for their release. The TV series, which served as a significant motivator for many to consider attending historically black colleges and universities, captivated audiences with its exploration of various societal issues. Notably, Debbie Allen and Bill Cosby played crucial roles in enhancing the show's later seasons, addressing topics ranging from racism and black Greek life to elitism and black history, all while portraying middle-class African Americans in a unique light. The show's inclusive platform provided opportunities for African American singers, artists, and even rappers to showcase their acting talents. It stands out for assembling a remarkable ensemble of strong and talented African-American actors and actresses without tokenism, setting a precedent not easily matched by subsequent shows. While Living Single approached a similar breadth of topics, it couldn't quite replicate the massive range found in the series and Bill Cosby. For those seeking relatable characters and a glimpse into lives akin to their own, it offers an engaging perspective. Originally a spin-off of The Cosby Show, the departure of Denise Huxtable after the first season might have raised concerns about the show's future. However, the introduction of new characters in later seasons successfully preserved its charm and relatability. One notable character, Dwayne Wayne, emerges as a favorite for many viewers due to his academic achievements and ability to balance a fun social life with close friends. This dynamic portrayal resonates with audiences who appreciate a character navigating the challenges of school while maintaining a vibrant social circle. Despite the absence of specific release dates for the additional seasons on DVD, fans express a collective desire for Universal Studios to make them available. In summary, the series provides a compelling and relatable exploration of college life, featuring characters that leave a lasting impression on the audience. In the episode Good Help is Hard to Find, aired on November 8, 1990, the background song Try Me from Jasmine Guy's debut album sets the tone for the party scene. Hillman College's campus and entrance, portrayed visually in the series, are based on Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. The show, appealing particularly to young African-American audiences, is acknowledged for positively impacting enrollments at several historically African-American colleges. It also motivated non-African-American students to pursue higher education. The influence of a different world extends beyond entertainment, making it a significant cultural phenomenon. The theme song of the show underwent changes across its six seasons. Initially performed by Phoebe Snow in the first season, it transitioned to Aretha Franklin for seasons two through five, and finally, Boys Two Men took over in the last season. Jasmine Guy and Kadeem Hardison maintained their roles throughout all six seasons, showcasing their enduring commitment. Daryl Bell, although recurring in the first season, stuck around for the entirety of the series. The consistent presence of these actors contributed to the show's stability. The characters in the series pursued diverse academic paths. Dwayne focused on math, Whitley on art history, Jalisa in business, Kim in pre-med, Freddie in creative writing, Walter pursued a master's degree, Ron's major remained unknown, Lena and Denise were in creative writing, and Maggie pursued journalism. These character choices reflected a range of academic pursuits, providing a realistic portrayal of college life. The diversity in declared majors added depth to the characters, allowing viewers to connect with different academic journeys. In summary, A Different World showcased a dynamic theme song evolution and featured characters with distinct academic pursuits, contributing to the show's authenticity and relatability. 
Several characters, including Millie, Maggie Lawton, J. Lisa Vincent Taylor, Letty Shaletti Bostick, Ernest Bennett, and Terrence Taylor, disappeared from the show without explanation. This contributed to the series' dynamic as it evolved over its six seasons. The show underwent a revamp for its second season, prompted not only by Lisa Bonet's departure, but also by criticism that it didn't accurately depict a historically black college or college life in general. Debbie Allen, named producer before season two, drew on her experiences as a Howard University graduate to enhance the show. The writing staff made annual visits to black colleges, incorporating their findings into the series. While portraying roommates on the show, Lisa Bonet and Marissa Tomai lived together in real life, adding a layer of authenticity to their on-screen chemistry. In summary, a different world experienced character departures, underwent a second season revamp to better represent college life, and featured co-stars who shared real life, living arrangements details that shaped the show's narrative and authenticity. Whitley's father Mercer Gilbert underwent casting changes with Conroy Jedian, Kenneth Washington, and Ron O'Neill each portraying the character at different points. Notably, Ron O'Neill took on a different role before assuming the character of Whitley's father. Don Lewis, who portrayed Jalisa, played a behind-the-scenes role as one of the show's theme songwriters. Her involvement added a unique dimension to the series, showcasing the multi-talented contributions of the cast. Daryl M. Bell's character, Ron, made sporadic appearances in the first season before securing a regular role in the show's second season. His gradual integration into the main cast marked a shift in the series' dynamics. These casting nuances and behind-the-scenes contributions added layers to the show, influencing its narrative and character development. Such intricacies, coupled with the previously discussed aspects, contribute to the overall authenticity and richness of the series. Jasmine Guy's portrayal of Whitley in the TV series drew inspiration from her fifth grade teacher, Miss Pinkford, as revealed in an interview on Intimate Portrait. In August 2006, Nick at Night aired Hillman College reunion shorts during a week-long marathon. The shorts featured cast members Lisa Bonet, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, Daryl M. Bell, Cree Summer, and Sinbad reprising their roles. Despite not sharing screen time, Lisa Bonet and Cree Summer, who played distinct characters, are best friends off-screen. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the show's character development and the strong bonds formed among the cast, bringing an added layer of authenticity to the series. Maggie's sudden absence after the first season of A Different World remains unexplained, leaving viewers puzzled about her character's departure. The series, known for its dynamic shifts, faced another unplanned change as Maggie Lawton vanished without a clear resolution. Jasmine Guy, who eventually became a central figure in the show, initially auditioned for the role of Jaylisa. However, logistical constraints led to her exclusion from the opening credits sequences, which were already filmed by the time she officially joined the series. Despite this unconventional start, Jasmine Guy's portrayal of Whitley became a standout, catapulting her to the forefront and making her the star of the show. Interestingly, the character of Whitley was originally intended for just the pilot episode. However, due to her overwhelming popularity, she evolved into a regular character. This unexpected turn not only reshaped the show's dynamics, but also elevated Jasmine Guy's prominence within the cast. Maggie's mysterious departure, Jasmine Guy's unconventional entry, and Whitley's unexpected journey from a one-time appearance to a central character all contribute to the intriguing narrative of a different world. In its inaugural season, A Different World saw the departure of Whitley's roommate, Millie, as actress Marie Alice Rekastner prepared for motherhood. Producers sought to introduce a contrast, replacing Millie with the independent and strong-willed Kim, shaping a dynamic shift in the character dynamics. Transitioning to the show's final season, Kim, initially a pre-med major, entered medical school, mirroring the career trajectory of Cliff and Claire Huxtable from The Cosby Show. Simultaneously, Freddie pursued law school, further diversifying the character's academic pursuits. A notable absence in the final season was Jay Lisa, portrayed by Don Lewis, who departed to co-star on Hangin' with Mr. Cooper. The departure of Galisa, a significant character, remained unexplained, leaving a gap in the ensemble cast. 
These changes in character dynamics and academic pursuits showcased the series' adaptability over its run with departures and introductions contributing to the evolving narrative. Such shifts, coupled with the show's realistic portrayal of college life, added depth to a different world's storyline.